Hello and welcome back to World 360. About 50 years ago, the US Supreme Court passed a landmark ruling that protected women's abortion rights in the Roe v. Wade case. The crux of the case was this. Jane Roe, a pseudonym for an unmarried pregnant woman, filed suit challenging Texas abortion laws and a Texas doctor joined her lawsuit, arguing that the state's abortion laws were too vague for doctors to follow. District Attorney Henry Wade represented the state of Texas and he was the defendant in this case. At the time, abortion was illegal in Texas unless it was done to save the mother's life. By January 1973, the case had reached the Supreme Court, which ruled that the US Constitution provides a fundamental right to privacy that protects a woman's right to choose whether to have an abortion. But it also ruled that the abortion right is not absolute and must be balanced against the government's interests in protecting women's health. One major takeaway was that the court recognized that abortion falls under women's right to privacy. A subsequent 1992 decision, Planned Parenthood v. Casey, largely maintained this right. However, the current US Supreme Court may overturn this landmark ruling as it prepares to decide on a new case, Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, for which a decision is expected in June or early July. Now, this pending case deals with the constitutionality of a 2018 Mississippi state law that banned abortion operations after the first 15 weeks of pregnancy. Now, a recent draft opinion leak from the US Supreme Court obtained by Politico reveals that the top court is keen to overturn this. The leaked document written by Justice Samuel Alito reads, We hold that Roe and Casey must be overruled. It is time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives. What's important to remember is that this is just a draft opinion and it is not legally binding as yet. An opinion of the court is not exactly a decision by the court. An opinion of the court refers to the court's judgment and its reasoning. A draft opinion is circulated for the reaction of colleagues in the court. It's also important to remember that the current US Supreme Court of nine judges has a conservative majority of six is three. Supporters of the Roe v. Wade verdict have said it has played a critical role in preserving women's rights and freedoms. In fact, some have pointed out that abortion rates have been found to be about the same rate per capita over time, whether legal or banned. But what does change when you make it illegal is how many women seeking abortion can die from it. Fearing that the Supreme Court could overturn this decision, which would make abortion essentially illegal in many states, some Democrat leaders have suggested the US Congress pass legislation that codifies Roe v. Wade as the law of the land. However, the Supreme Court's decision in 1973 has also been criticized in many ways. First, there are many who believe the Supreme Court exercised judicial activism, meaning the judges based their decision on personal views rather than existing law. Also, the decision to include women's abortion rights specifically under right to privacy has also received scrutiny. In fact, late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, also a fierce feminist and supporter of women's rights, felt the 1973 decision was inadequate. In a lecture at New York University in 1992, she said, the Roe decision might have been less of a storm center had it both honed in more precisely on the women's equality dimension of the issue. What this means is she felt a woman's right to seek an abortion was grounded in the wrong part of the constitution. She felt it should have been grounded in the tenet of equality and that restricting abortion should have been viewed as a restriction of gender equality. A New York Times article points out that Ginsburg had actually been working as a lawyer on a very interesting case around the same time that Roe versus Wade was decided. In the 70s, Ginsburg was representing Captain Susan Strzok, an Air Force nurse stationed in Vietnam, who became pregnant. At the time, though, abortion was prohibited in most US states, but it was allowed on military bases. And Strzok was given the choice to have an abortion or leave the military. When the Supreme Court agreed to hear the case, the Air Force changed its policy and let Captain Strzok have her child and keep her job. However, Ginsburg believed that the Strzok case would have provided a stronger foundation for a woman's right to choose to have an abortion, noted the New York Times report. If in June or early July this year, America's top court decides to overrule Roe v. Wade, it will be interesting to see on what basis it does so. And for that, we will have to look out for the court's final word. 
Thanks for watching. This is Pia Kushankuti for the print. Do subscribe to the print.in and follow us on social media.